Alright, uh, I know it's been a while, but I got a battle here against a Negator from uh, Smogon, and uh, I'm using a new team. I think I finally got this stuff sort of figured out, so I lead with a Hihi Daruma, and he leads with a uh, Pandora, so uh, I figure he'll switch, so I go for the U-turn. He stays in and lays up the Toxic Spikes, so either he predicted that, or he's sassed and just wanted to get a layer up. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, I go for the Bullet Punch hoping it might have been able to take him out, but instead he goes to this jellyfish thing, so I really don't want him to use boiling water on me and risk getting burned, so I just U-turn out and send in Shaman, who can take hits from that guy all day long. He does go for the boiling water, does shit, and he can't burn me because I'm already poisoned. So I am predicting a switch back to his centipede guy, which he does do, so I go for the Earth Power. Um, I'm running Hidden Part Ice instead of Fire, so I can't go for that. And it doesn't quite kill. I thought that thing had bad enough defenses that a Life Orb Earth Power would have been able to kill, but it doesn't, so... He sets up a layer of spikes as I go back to Scizor. I really didn't want to take a Mega Horn there, so I just went played it safe and switched the Shaman out. And I do take him out with a Bullet Punch. And, uh... He goes to his Jellyfish again, which is basically just U-Turn fodder. It doesn't really do anything to me the whole match. Oh, except for right here. He predicts that switch, actually, to Shaman and goes to the Ice Beam, which... won't quite kill my Shaman, but the Poison will. So that kind of sucks. I think Shaman would have been kind of useful later if I still had it. But, uh... He is low enough that Gengar will take him out, but I figure... He knows I have Scizor and Hihi Daruma, which that thing counters, so I figure he'll want to save it. He does switch out to his Sanzadora, which would have taken my uh, Shadow Ball, but instead I go for the sub, and luckily I hit, so I am able to take that thing out with Focus Blast, which is pretty nice, and, uh... Yeah, but he sends in this Ditto, which is basically a huge bitch to me the whole game. Uh, they're all Scarfed, they're always Scarfed, so... I switch out to Scizor, predicting his Shadow Ball, which he does go for, and, uh... Let's see. I know he's locked into Shadow Ball, so I go for the Swords Dance, that's right, because I didn't know if he had anything that could really hurt me, and he goes back to this thing. I just U-turn out, but it is plus two, so that almost kills it, and, uh... I go into my Starmie, because... Just like Shaman, it has natural cure. I'm not going to care if I get burned. Uh, he doesn't burn me, though, and I should just be able to take it out with a... Th well, I know I'll be able to take it out with a Thunderbolt from that health, but he switches to his Mole, which uh, obviously resists Thunderbolt, and since I haven't been disabled by Cursed Body yet, I'm figuring his Jellyfish has Water Absorb, so I just play it safe this turn and go with the Ice Beam. It'll hurt Mole if he stays in, It'll do something to Jellyfish. It won't give him his health back. And uh, I really just want that thing dead, so I go for the Thunderbolt. And I guess he stays in, predicting me to predict his mole and use Surf. So he allows me to kill him, which is nice. And uh, But then he sends in that Ditto again. And I'm at such low health that any of his moves, or any of my moves, could actually kill me. So I just want to stay in and scout which move he's going to do. He goes for Surf, which kind of puts me in a tough spot. I bring in Garchomp. But, uh, I'm not able to Swords Dance because I know that if he stays in the Surfs along with the Poison, two Surfs from that Starmie will be able to kill me. So, here I go for the Fire Fang because well, I'm not actually running Earthquake on this Garchomp. I've got Stealth Rock, Swords Dance, Dragon Claw, and Fire Fang. Mostly because, uh, the only thing that resists those is Heatran, and I don't think I've seen a single Heatran since I've started, started playing. But unfortunately, my lack of Earthquake leaves him with like 1 HP, and he is able to kill me. So, instead of having a nearly full health Garchomp to deal with his team, I have a dead one. So I go to Scizor, because I know that Scizor will be able to set up on his Scarf Ditto, who won't be able to use Swords Dance. And he goes to his last, which ends up being a Repushin. So, sometimes I'm able to beat these things with Scizor, sometimes I'm not. Uh, Unfortunately, this one has Drain Punch, which, as you'll see, nearly kills me and restores him to full health, so... I would have actually been better off Swords Dancing that turn, so this turn I could have hit him with a plus four, 
bullet punch instead of a plus two, but I don't, so he kills me and brings himself back to full health, and all I've got left is a Gengar. I do hit him with the Shadow Ball, and unfortunately that doesn't quite kill him, so he's going to be able to take me out with a payback, and I think that's the game. That was a good game. Uh, wait a minute. No, I still have Hihi Daruma left, but I'm not going to be able to deal with a Ditto that's faster than me and that Rapushin, so he just hits me down with a Mach Punch. I do live, but I'm poisoned, and I used Flare Blitz, so it really doesn't matter. If the recoil didn't kill me, the poison would kill me. Oh, the recoil didn't kill me, but the poison will kill me. That was a good game, very close. Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, sub. Bye.